Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications' high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. Tucked away in the Grant Road office building, there's a new option for Wenatchee Valley patients in the grip of substance abuse. Ideal option is the brainchild of emergency room doctors in the Tri-Cities. And East Wenatchee is the newest of its 62 clinics in 10 states. What we saw was this continuum of patients coming in with addiction problems, alcohol, heroin. We saw resources in the communities, detox beds, uh, inpatient facilities getting harder and harder to access. So we'd actually tell alcoholics to go home and drink because we couldn't get them into services for a month to two months if we could at all. In 2012, Dr. Ken Egley and fellow ER Dr. Jeffrey Algar started a part-time practice treating substance dependencies. We started getting hundreds and hundreds of phone calls on our personal cell phones. We made a lot of interesting mistakes, <laughs> learning. Um, found out there was such a need. About 100 medical providers now work for Ideal Option, including doctors who hold what's called an XDEA waiver, a federal certification that allows them to prescribe addiction treatment just as easily as they could prescribe opioids and other painkillers that can lead to addiction. That way, clients can step down from substance abuse in stages under medical supervision rather than quit cold turkey. They need the medication initially, just like in psychiatry. In many of many disease processes, they put people on medication for two to three months before they start psychosocial interventions because they have to stabilize the biochemistry. That's what we do. Treatment at the centers goes beyond opioids, which killed 70,000 Americans in 2017, to address alcoholism and other substance abuse disorders. Medicaid patients are welcome. The East Wenatchee location has been operating since March. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News.